Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about the speed brake lever on board of the Boeing 737-800. By the end of the video you will understand how to use the speed brake lever throughout your flight and the ground operations. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, my name is Gabriele from pilotclimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if this is what you want to do, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video. Okay, so let's talk about this uh, speed brake lever. The speed brake lever on board, on board of the Boeing 737-800 is located next to the throttles, okay? Next to the throttles and next to the trim wheel, okay? And if you look just behind the lever, if you are sitting on the captain's seat, you're gonna see that it has got four different positions, okay? The first position the down, the second position is the arm position, the third position is the flight detent, and the last position is the up position, okay? So now, let's see when you should actually extend and use this speed brake lever and in which position you, sh you should set it, okay? First of all, guys, the speed, brake, the speed brake lever will actually actuate and extend the flight spoiler in flight and the flight and the ground spoiler on the ground, okay? So you want to use the speed brake lever whenever you need to reduce the energy of the aircraft. So in flight, if, for example, you get a shortcut and you, and you need to reduce your altitude quick or you need to reduce your speed quick, you use the speed brake, okay? So let's say first position, the down position, guys, as you can see, the down position is the down position. There is not much to say. When the speed brake lever is in the down position, the ground spoiler and the flight spoiler are retracted, okay? The first position is the arm, okay? The arm position, you should set the speed brake lever to the arm position when you are on final before the landing because when you arm the, the when you set the speed brake lever to the arm position, you will see that the speed brake arm green light will illuminate, and this will indicate that upon landing you're gonna have an automatic speed brake system. What does it mean is that when you land, the flight spoiler and the ground spoiler automatically will extend, and the speed brake lever as well will deploy automatically. It will go all the way up to the position to the up position. Okay, so now let's say we are flying, guys, and we have a shortcut, so we need to reduce our altitude very quick. What we have to do, we need to extend the speed brake all the way up to the flight detent position. Okay, the flight detent position is the maximum position, is the maximum extension for the speed brake. Okay, you don't go beyond that on the flight, okay? The Boeing 77 has got a safety guard that, that should block the lever to go to the up position, okay? Any, I mean, the, uh, it is not recommended to use the speed brake lever in a, any intermediate uh, position, okay? So it's in the flight, okay? During flight is either uh, down or is in the flight, uh, flight um, in the, or, is, or is the flight detent, okay? So then if you look when you're on final, as we said, you put the arm, you put the speed brake lever to the arm, you will see that upon landing, the speed brake lever uh, will go all the way up to the up position. Okay, so this is if the automatic uh, speed brake uh, function is working. If it doesn't work, once you land, you, manually you have to take the speed brake lever and pull it all the way up to the up position. So guys, the up position is used on the ground to make sure that the ground spoiler and the flight spoiler are extended to their maximum position during the landing roll, okay? So now, let's analyze what are the lights associated with the speed brake. Okay, the first light, the green light, the speed brake arm light illuminates when you put the speed brake to the arm position on final. Okay, and that indicates that you got the auto speed brake system. Beautiful. So then let's say you actually arm the speed brake, okay, on, on final, but you're gonna have another light, which is the speed brake do not arm, okay? It's an amber, amber light, and that light will warn you that you have got some problem on the autom on automatic speed brake function. So that means that even though you set the speed brake lever to the arm, the, the flight spoiler and the ground spoiler won't uh, extend automatically. So you, what you have to do, well, you should apply the QRH, but in that case, you have to extend them manually. Okay, then the last light, guys, is then a, a, a light, a number light, which is the speed brake extended light that warns you if your speed brake, let's say on short final, okay, you arm the speed brake, okay, so you put the speed brake to the arm position, however, you put it a, a, more like upward, so you actually go behind, beyond the arm position. What will happen is that that light will actually warn you that the speed brake lever is 
beyond the arm position, you have the, the flaps are more than 10 or your altitude or your radio altitude is below 800 feet. So basically it's warning you that you have some, the position of the speed brake lever is not in the arm position but it's beyond that. So you might have some flight spoiler deflection. Okay, and on the ground that will actually indicate that the speed brake lever is down. Let's say you land, you retract the speed brake lever down, so all the fly spoiler and the ground spoiler should be retracted. However, if there is a problem there and the ground spoiler are not in the stove and are not retracted, you're gonna have that light. Okay, so basically there is a discrepancy there uh, between the uh, speed brake lever and the ground uh, the ground spoiler position. Okay, guys, so I hope you understand a little bit better speed brake lever and how can you use the speed brake lever during your flight and during the ground operation. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also go to pilotclimb.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0 please.